<laughs> That's the wildest thing I've heard so far of his show. Ha ha ha, it's not slad. Oh, way up ladies, gents and everyone between. We're here again. I feel like I keep saying that over and over again. Because the last, all the literal videos I've been doing is Vampire Diaries. Because <laughs> I love it so much. So we're here for episode 8. It's called 162 Candles. Last episode, we had a uh, good old Sticky Vicky finally met a match, aka a bit of wood. She's now six feet under, and poor old Jez's, or Jer, Jer, sorry, I've been told it's not Jez, it's Jer. He has now had his memory wiped, and is now <laughs> completely oblivious to what's happened, or so we think. I've got a feeling he's gonna find out again and remember everything. Um, he can't just, that's a big part of his life that's just been taken away. So that's 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 gonna end badly, I feel. We're still a bit unsure about both brothers at this point, Stefan and the whole lying and I don't know. I think Damon for sure is definitely cooking up something, but Stefan is just <laughs> We need to stop we need to learn never to lie again. Right. We've got we're now end game from looks of it with with Elena. We've got a sort of Keep that, keep that flame going. But I want to know more about Bonnie and the powers. Like, if we just, she's sort of been lying low, sort of learning a bit about the necklace and the fact that it relates to what's her great, great grandma, I think, great grand summer anyway, an ancestor. I feel like there's more hidden underneath that, that situation than we think. Caroline just needs to keep being Caroline. <laughs> Matt, I mean. God knows. <laughs> is he gonna be? I mean, of course, he just lost his sister. Come on, Luke, be a bit more sympathetic. But <laughs> the guy just, oh, he's just too sweet. Anyway, the full version of this will be out on Patreon. All Vampire Diary reactions, all the TV shows, films, everything I've done on the channel will be out on there. And it's all on Editor Glory. They're all in little collections, so you can all see them very clearly. You know, you, can, you know what you want to pick. It's only £4 a month. Basically, if you want more of me, go and check out Patreon. <laughs> That's simple, as simple as that. All my other socials will be linked down below. Leave a like and comment. Yeah, of course, subscribe. Yeah, without further ado, let's get into some vampire diaries. <laughs> Who the f is here? Not ghosts. We don't need bloody. We've got witches, vampires. We don't need ghosts. I've had enough. Absolutely not. <laughs> I bet it's Damon. Damon? Now, what the hell's this? This is a diff- Oh my god, no, that's not Damon. Who the hell's that? Le who the f***'s Lexi? <laughs> who the hell's this Happy birthday. Oh my god, it's his birthday. 160 odd year old, bloody hell. Hey, do me a favor, while you're here, please be careful. Oh, we're getting a little bit too close, I'm sorry. <laughs> Poor Elena. <laughs> Wanted, dead or alive, it's our theme song. It'll be a blast. They were definitely together at some point. It's giving that that energy. Well, let's hope she's better than the last girl you got all sprung over. Poor Catherine. I mean, not poor. She seems like a bitch from the flashback. Anyone I can talk to that may know what happened to her prior to her leaving town? Stefan Salvatore may know. Oh, there we go. Sheriff's on the case. You're like those last few days before she left. Up and down. She was coming down from some major party. <laughs> Matt is so oblivious, isn't he, to everything? <laughs> miss her, but I think it's for the best. Oh, well, what's he made him think? So he's obviously not made her forget her. He's made her think differently of her. All right, maybe we can work with that, I suppose. Oh, God, we're not. Oh, where's the art? I've not seen her for a while. I can't do this, Stefan. I thought you were back together. Oh, right. Teen love and all that. Stefan, you have to stay away from me. Oh, is he gonna get with Lexi now? Because, you know, feeling lonely and that. So mean to me. You're not a nice person. Not a nice person. Teach me to be good. <laughs> I'm old. Oh, older. She's older. Gag, she's older. I thought she was, she's giving young vibes, but you know what? Maybe the more, the older the are, the less mature you get. Because she's a bit of a wild one, isn't she? Uh-uh, you need to be wearing that. I gotta get it back to Caroline. It doesn't belong to me. Yes, it does. It was your ancestors, and now it's yours. Ooh. Just put the damn thing on. It might make you more powerful. Don't be giving that back to anybody. 
get the vibe the grand's all about like each to their own do you know what i mean like watch out for everyone like vampires and humans alive which fair enough why what are you doing homework since when do you do homework i gotta finish this i'm way behind and <laughs> he's played him weird <laughs> poor, Jer poor jeremy I want to know what's what's Damon's. Do it was Damon. Caught, it was him that compelled him, not Stefan. Sorry. What is that? Oh, Reveille course it is. It's a small circle. Founding families, a few city officials. Oh dear. We're telling him. I think our facts are wrong. <laughs> She's the worst sheriff. <laughs> Vampires can only come out in the dark. What if that's changed? So they know barely anything. This is so far from what I thought him. Was it episode four? I, of course, will do anything I can to help. Good boy. Can I get a one-line version so I can at least pretend to be helpful? Stefan and I broke up. <laughs> so many symbols. I know I've been kind of MIA. Yeah, too, too busy learning about your witch ancestry, you know? For coming handy. Hey! Uh, hey. Uh. What is she doing? What is what is going on? This is some American shit I'm not aware of. Oh, we're telling her about the witches. Oh, guys, I'm so sorry. I'm really slow today. What sort of day? Who's saying this is not going to work? I don't know if it's going to work. Wingardium Leviosa, you know? Without the words, of course, but pretty good. All right, we're starting small, you know, light feathers. Move on to, to great things, you know? Maybe lift someone up. That'd be pretty cool. Everything my gramps told me, it's impossible. And it's true. This looks so fake. <laughs> so, right, are we going to tell Bonnie now about our little uh, vampire lover? You seriously hurt me, and I will be damned if you think. Oh, here we go. <laughs> oh my god. Where have you been? <laughs> Just has to look at her. You want to throw a party here at the grill tonight? What is he planning? Oh, I hate not knowing things. Oh, but Bonnie has it. I know that. Get it from her. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's not Caroline's fault, but he's just so cutthroat. She has to want to be with me on her own terms. Wow. See, Lexi knows. Just take the spares from the hospital. That's what I've been saying all along. Oh, don't judge, okay? Listen, I tried the animal diet. Lasted three weeks. This is their version of vegan, isn't it, right? <laughs> Animals. Funny you should ask. Oh, hello, hello, hello. Yeah, I don't want a birthday party. Well, it's not. Oh, right, that's why he's, he's doing it for birthday. See, there's so much bullshit going on, I just forgot that it's his birthday. It's important for the town to see us out and about like normal folk. We need a blend. Right, okay. Is that why he's doing it? I mean, he's already working. I mean, he, look, his sheriff's told him the whole, the whole tea. Like, <laughs> he's part of the inner circle. He's a vampire. God, how has this town lasted so long? I, I, it's beyond me. I can't keep secrets from you. Hello, darkness, my old friend. <laughs> She's keeping one big secret, though. Oh, yeah, my, my boyfriend's an 162 year old vampire. It's a party. A party that Damon wants us to go to. Yeah, which is bad signs. Lexi, come on. I can take a break from all of his worrying for one night. I mean, I'm glad she's going because she's stronger than fucking Damon. Right. Okay. <laughs> Bit slap action. All right. She's going to go. She's going to see the new girl. She's going to get Jojo. Uh-oh. Oh. My God. oh. <laughs> Who? Of course, Elena's not seen a picture of Catherine yet, has she? So that's going to be funny. That's going to be funny when she sees that. You have some serious explanation. I oh, know. What did he say in one of the episodes? It was like, oh, it's like I'm over her or those, along those lines. Not what you think. She's not Catherine. Then they're related because they could be twins. You don't know. Oh, come on. They're definitely related. She's kind and she's caring and she's selfless. Honestly, when I'm around her, I, I completely forget what I am. God, that was corny as fuck. <laughs> Sorry, Stefan. The grill. Come on, grill. Oh, God. Caroline's in a bloody element. Amazing party, right? Glad you thought of it. <laughs> Shut it down. Fuck me. Do you have my crystal? No. Then I'm not having a good time. Pause or pause. I get it. People find the psych sociopathy nature of Damon's being pretty hot, alright? And I'm kind of seeing it, but but come on, Caroline's been the punching bag all season so far. Like, give her a break, please. There he is again at the door. 
not like that, no. Uh, she's not exactly a girl. Lexi's um, just 350 years old. Yeah, she speaks in the most, like, Cali girl accent. Going, and she's 350 years old. Oh, my God. Come on now. It was a mistake. You want to talk to me? I can't. Seven, I can't, and that's the problem. Oh, we all know we're going to be back together. And, uh, skip, skip the bullshit, you know? Do you need a ride to the grill tonight? Actually, I, um... I think I want to stay in tonight. Maybe that's a good call. I feel like the ship's going to go down at this party and Valena might not be safe, so... Oh, it's a banging party. Yes! Come on! Mind you, it's a bit classy, isn't it? It's not like... It's not tack. Not down the club. I need my crystal back. Why? You said you hated it, so I can't give it back to you. <gasps> go on, tell her. Uh, well, I didn't want to have to tell you this, but I'm your friend. When you wear it, it makes you look fat. <laughs> What? <laughs> That's the wildest thing I've heard so far of his show. So he's the one who really wants it back. Thank you, Bonnie. <laughs> oh my god, maybe you really chuck hook. That came out of nowhere. <laughs> oh god, right. I'm going to be in a weird mood now for the rest of this episode. What the hell is wrong with you? Yeah, what is wrong with you? <laughs> Call fat shaming, slut shaming. It's thief. <laughs> I like that though. Some sort of charms on it now. It's like hers, you know. Where is it? <laughs> She's tried all the cards. Come on. No, you are the only stupid thing here and useless. Dave, right? How's anyone team fucking Damon? He's a twat. <laughs> Making a fool out of myself. Come on, you're not that. I mean, yes, you are. Look at the way you're worse than me. What is this? Granddad's at the party. I mean, he's 162, so. <laughs> Is this gonna get you ring your necklace back? I don't think so. Oh, yes, there is. He's just got limp. <laughs> what? Oh, you're right. Of course, Stefan. Persecuted throughout eternity by his depraved brother. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> From the sounds of it. What did you do to my brother? He wanted me to take away his suffering. So he's taking away the, mem the trauma of his mum and dad. The drugs, everything. Oh, of course. That's why. Okay, you got what you wanted. Yeah, and something that doesn't even belong to you, by the way. I mean, it does, actually. Show the picture. No, that's not true. Don't let him treat you like that. Yeah, as opposed to how my best friend treats me. What? She's not said anything! She's not giving you her necklace back! I know you should know that. Oh, I don't know, man. And he literally called her fat, so... You call Bonnie fat, you're not... Well, you're, not you're, you're gonna have problems with me, I'm sorry. Well, let me guess, an animal attack? <laughs> Just the tenth one this week? Yeah, I need to see some ideas. No, you don't. Oh, that's quite slick. See, that's a good way to compel someone. <laughs> I literally advocate for underage drinking, but <laughs> don't mind me. I imagine you're going through denial, anger, etc. Love really did conquer all. That's a statement, isn't it? I mean, look, look at them now. That... Oh, um... I'm not a fan of tequila. I'm not either, to be fair. If she would have said vodka, I would have been more inclined, but... Can we keep Lexi in the show? I hope she stays around. But I've got a feeling she's like a passing character, like, she'll... She'll, she'll go after this, you know? That's not all. Oh, we left a survivor. Tell me everything you saw. She hasn't turned her, has he? Oh, hey. Oh, she has a bit to drink. Bad night, huh? He's sweet. He really is. I can't deny it. That's true. I'm shallow. We're confessing our, our personality. We like it. Can I just go home? Yeah. Okay. Oh, he is a sweetie. He really is. Oh, God. Husband. Oh, look at that. Chariot awaits, you know. I need you to answer a question. What are you really doing in this day? I have a diabolical master plan. Yes, we know. Let me know if you see anyone. Oh. Oh no. Oh, we're going to cause mayhem here, aren't we? Not Lexi. Oh, for God's sake. Yeah, because he talked to her. Oh, God. So he's not gonna, she's not going to think it's him. No, not Lexi. I just, I've been liking Lexi. Oh, no. Shank, go out this way. <laughs> Shove him. <laughs> I am now, bitch. 
<laughs> Go on, Lex. Jeez. Steaming with bit steak. I hope she stays, she stays around. I hope she stays around. And she was what, 300 years old? She had just dead like that. Wow. Thank you. And it all cards are off with him. Anything to spoil this plan. It must be serious then, isn't it? Caught a lucky break with that witness. Without her, you wouldn't have been able to ID the vampire. God, he's playing all these, all this, all these people, man. God, I can't believe she's dead. I didn't think she would have died. Oh, good old man. I feel like we're now gonna, we're gonna have a little bit of a, a shindig, aren't we? Obviously not while she's drunk. A person in the world loves you. Life well, can be a little rough. I suppose they're both feeling down because he's both are being, both being abandoned, aren't they? I suppose sister and mum, her. Jim Gelman, her mom and dad's left, like. Oh. oh, no. Everywhere that I go, pain and death follow. Demon follows me. Talk to me. Let me be here for you. Talk to me. No. Oh, no. Oh, they're <laughs> Now things have changed. Oh. Fight. Oh, come on. I did this for you to get him off our track. He didn't have to kill her. Ah, uh, I did think I was like, it's too eat now. I'm not gonna kill him. Oh, come on, buddy. Oh god, what we're dreaming about? Is it for the future premonition, isn't it? It's coming. Oh, it's it's coming, and she's at that's the graveyard, isn't it? The cemetery. Oh, I love it. I love a cryptic ending like that. Oh god. These, every episode is just, <laughs> it's just more and more like unhingedness, I swear to God. But, so she's had a premonition. Clearly this crystal is making her more powerful. Ancestors from her past is leading her to that head, so to, it's a tomb, isn't it? Or a, a, a graveyard or whatever. There's something about that graveyard, isn't there? It's the Salvatore one as well. So it's, so what does Damon want with that tomb? There's something down there, isn't there? God, no idea what could be down there. Lexi though, getting state brutal as ever. But I suppose to Damon she's collateral because nothing can affect the plan, right? This plan is so important. <laughs> you know, kills a friend from a hundred years back. Matt and Caroline, do I ship? I don't know because I don't know if they're right for each other. I think Matt needs someone that's like Bonnie, for example, is a badass. I'm not saying Caroline's not got a, a pot of a plus points, but I don't think badass is what I associate with Caroline. I'm sorry. He needs someone like that. So I'm, I'm thinking it with him and Bonnie, you know, come on. Jeremy being weird. He's clearly gotten rid of, so he's gotten rid of all the like, everything that's well, suffering, isn't it? Everything that's happened bad. So mom and dad dying, drugs, Vicky. He's taken all that memory away and that feeling away. So now he's just all, oh, you know, he's just getting on with life, which it's half, it's a good thing, obviously, because he's, you know, he's healthier maybe, but it's also a bad thing because it makes him less human, you know? Does that mean that he'll never ever feel suffering again so in the future things just won't phase him? It's not a good look, is it? <laughs> but I do think, I feel like the next two episodes, because I'm going to do, like I say, I'm going to talk to episode 10, I feel like we're going to, we're just, we're going to find out what, what's in this tomb, aren't we? Anyway, full version of this will be out on Patreon. Um, links for socials down below. As always, subscribe. I beg. I'll see you in the next one.